Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise to our feet and raise our two hands to the Lord. As we sing this song loud and clear. You are the pillar that oh my heart. Hallelujah. Let your voice be the loudest. Let your voice be the loudest. Today, today, today. So 
blood of Jesus. Super blood of Jesus. Thank you for yet another time before you. We thank you for your grace that we enjoy day by day. We thank you because it is written that when my enemies and my foes come upon me to eat my flesh, they stumble and they fall. Thank you because it's by your mercies that we are standing. For if the Lord has not been with us, what will our Israel now say? We we'll give you praise. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. As many as are gathered unto this wonderful service, let no one go home with a plastic experience. Lay your hands upon every life here. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. It continued from where we stopped last week. Healing our internal madman. Once again, we begin to read from the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 9. Verse 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Verse 3. Ecclesiastes 9 3. There is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. That there is one event unto all. Yeah. Also, the heart of the son of men, the heart of the sons of men, is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. And I started to explain in the last two weeks. That we might have our own definition of items. What is the Bible that has correct definition for things? The Bible makes us to understand. <laughs> and there is something known as spiritual insanity. And the Bible identifies and defines almost 20 groups of mad people. 
and we began to look at them one by one. The first group of mad people, as far as the Bible is concerned, are those who are fighting their Moses. They are fighting their helpers. <laughs> Somebody is sent by God to help you and you are fighting the person. It's insanity. A lot of people are suffering today. Because the Moses that should have delivered them kick them out. Fought them. Criticize them. Judge them. Abuse them. Not knowing that that is the Moses. And I began to tell you about Joseph in the house of Potiphar. Joseph was in the house of Potiphar. And Potiphar began to prosper. But Potiphar did not know that the presence of Joseph was the surface of his prosperity and pushed him out. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power that wants you to fight your divine helper shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. And any power that wants to disgrace God in your life shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. The Almighty will arise for your sake. And those who want you to go down, they shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. Those who do not want you to rise shall be pulled down in the name of Jesus. Those who want you dead shall replace you in the grave in the name of Jesus. The second group of madness is the crookedness of the heart of man. The third group we identified was the prodigal nature of the sons of men. The fourth group of mad people will identify are those who are resistant to blunt truth. The fifth group are the group of people <laughs> who are intentionally deaf to what will benefit their lives. The sixth group are those who are eating their benefit and killing their seeds. The seven people are those who have suffered from invasion because they opened the doors to the invasion by the enemy. And the eighth one, which we discussed last week, well, self exhortation to where God did not put you. You are living above your spiritual experience. You are claiming to be hearing from God when you had nothing. You are claiming to be spiritual when you are not. That's number eight that the Bible identifies. Number nine, there are those who are mad because they are undergoing suffering energized by God's punishment. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 34 Deuteronomy 28 34 
so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eyes which thou shalt see they went and offended the almighty he has now initiated punishment that will make them seem mad that is they completely lose their sense of reasoning because of the magnitude of the problems they are undergoing so, so it's better not to incur the punishment of God group number 10 they are those made mad by oppression in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7 oppression has been so much to make them senseless may you not be oppressed with senselessness in the name of Jesus Ecclesiastes 7 7 so surely oppression make it a wise man mad it make it a wise man mad yeah we are both of us standing here at the pulpit we have not offended anybody we hope we have not offended anybody <laughs> but if we carry this pulpit and put it on our head and see give us microphone to be talking we may be talking you've not, we've not offended you you've not offended us but because of the load on the head the talking may not be like before the oppression of the person will make the person lose composure Oppression make it a wise man mad. One of the largest schools in the University of Bondage is the school of oppression. Oppression. There's so many thousands and millions of people under satanic oppression every day. The enemy is not staying in their lives. The enemy is not tying them down to somewhere. But it just goes to oppress them. It presses them down. It punishes them. Goes away. Comes back again to oppress the person. The person is not possessed. But because of constant attacks constant oppression it's a problem indeed we spoke to a woman every night in the dream somebody will come and say madam open your mouth and she will open your mouth and the person will pee inside her mouth she will wake up feeling the taste of the urine in her mouth and every, anywhere she went that day they said madam you are smelling madam you are smelling madam you are smelling the day she doesn't have that dream nobody will say madam you are smelling so really oppression can make a wise man mad this is why I want you to pray this prayer in holy aggression as you raise up your right hand to the heavens and shout this louder than anyone around you the louder the more aggressive the better arrows of oppression I am not your candidate backfire in the name of Jesus
Jesus. Somebody has been set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Oppression make it a wise man mad. Number 10 is those engaging in sin. The Bible calls them mad. Jeremiah 51 7. Jeremiah 51 7. Jeremiah 51 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. The made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Sin is success in nothing. Anyone living in any known sin you are actively waging war against God. The Bible says one sinner destroyed much good. The Bible says the times of ignorance God winged at. But it's bringing all men to repentance now. To wink is to close your eyes momentarily and open it again. He winks at the time you don't know. But if you are knowingly doing it, you call for divine judgment. The Bible says, the servant who does not know the will of the master and commits sin shall be disciplined with few stripes but the servant who knows the will of the master and does not do it shall receive severe punishment plenty of stripes the children of Israel in Numbers 21 committed sin were grumbling against God complained against Moses so God sent a fiery serpent among them. Sent fiery serpents among them. And the fiery serpents began to bite. Once the serpents bite, they die. What brought in the serpents? Sin. Eventually, they now came to their senses. Their head became correct. They ran to Moses. We have seen. Help us beg God to, to take these serpents away. God did not take the serpents away. All God did was to now ask Moses to make a, a brass serpent and put it on a pole. Anybody beaten by the snake, just go to that serpent by the pole and stare at it, and the person will be made whole. Many of us don't know the problem with that. 
the serpents are still biting people. Yet at the end of the camp, somewhere there is a serpent of brass on a pole. Meaning that if somebody is asleep and the serpents bite the person, you need to wake up. You have to run to the place where that thing is and stay at it. If somebody is in a party, the serpent is better the party. That party is suspended immediately. He has to run to that place. So, meaning that in that camp, like mad people, who were, were running like this, running like this. If it's an old man, old woman that cannot walk, and the serpent bites that man, the family members have to carry the man to that pool so that the old man can look at it. If not, the man will die. If a baby was beaten by that serpent, they have to take the baby, run to that place for the, to open the eyes of the baby by force to stare at the serpent on the pole. So, so because of their sin, they were running from house to serpent from house to serpent the serpents were not removed he just put just put a solution at the front but he didn't remove that consequences of their sin try and understand that sin is very bad the Lord left the serpents with them there until their mouth became civilized. The, the Lord became civilized by force. Unfortunately for human beings, sometimes trouble teaches us a quicker lesson that, may, that many sermons can teach us. Every sin that is available has a punishment attached to it from heaven. It's always a consequence. There is a difference between the consequences of sin and forgiveness of sin. You can sin, heaven may forgive you, Meaning that they remove the sin from your record. On the judgment day, they will not read it against you. But that does not remove the consequence. You have gone to sleep with a man or woman with HIV. As a consequence, you now have HIV. Heaven will forgive you for your fornication. The consequences will be there. This is why sin is success in, not, is in nothing. It's dangerous. There is always a consequence. David took another man's wife and killed the man. And the prophet came to David. What is this that you have done? You are in trouble. David cried that I'm guilty. He cried to God. God said, I have forgiven you. Say, however, because of this thing that you have done, the sword will never depart from your house. Your children shall be sleeping with your own wives. He issued four curses on David. So it's a case of cursed but forgiven. So that's why sin is it's dangerous. Nobody should toy with it. It is madness to be playing with sin. It is success in nothing. Twelve. 
demonic attacks. You read that in 1 Samuel 16. Where an evil spirit troubled Saul and made Saul like a mad man. There are others, Mark, which we may not have time to really seriously deal with. 13. Any personal antagonism you are fighting yourself. You are the one that prophesied that God said, don't do this, don't do that. And you are doing it. It's madness. 14. If you are playing with God's call upon your life, like what Jonah did, and Jonah almost destroyed everybody in the ship, it's insanity. God gave you an assignment. <laughs> you are trying to run away. Where, where, where will you run to? Your parents have dedicated you to God. Now you have abandoned the God that you were dedicated to. You want to go and be doing something else with the world? It's madness. Because you can't find it easy. Fifteen. Mad people as defined by scripture. Is those who engage in clear disobedience to God. Clear disobedience. God said, Thou shalt not. But you are doing it. It is madness. 16. Group of mad people in scripture. Are those who are twisting God's commandment or modifying it to suit their purpose. They take the Bible, begin to twist and twist and twist to suit their own purpose. They begin to bring out interpretation that the Bible did not talk about. In order to support the wickedness they are doing. 17 kind of mad people in scripture are those ascribing God's glory to themselves or to idols. Ascribing God's glory to themselves or to idols. That was what Herod did. The voice of God and not the voice of man. And God had to deal with it. 18 group of people are those with uncontrollable anger. Bad temper. It's madness. Insanity. Some, when they get really, really angry, they will kill people. Then when the anger comes out, they wonder what they've done. But the destruction has already been done. That's why it is very, very, very important for anybody who has the spirit of anger to get delivered from it. Nineteen kind of mad people identify in scripture. Are those who are very foolish. Foolish. They engage in what does not make sense. They even say God does not exist. It's foolishness. The Bible said the fool says in his heart that there is no God. 20. Those making themselves equal to God like Nebuchadnezzar in the Bible making themselves equal to God 
are the 20 categories of madness defined in scripture. Is anyone here undergoing any of these 20 things? That is classified under insanity, spiritual insanity, madness. And the person needs to repent. The bottom line of what we are saying is this. There are many mad people decently dressed going about on our streets. Mad people. There are so many mad people too that oppression of our generation has converted them to slaves to drugs. Some are addicted to drugs. That is Valium, Lexotan, Codeine, Chloroquine. They are just addicted to it. And some have gotten to that level where they cannot even do without those drugs. Right now, there's an epidemic of juvenile madness. Young people getting insane. A lot of them being brought home from foreign nations for insanity's purposes. We must start praying as believers. And there is something we need to understand very well. One of the hard facts of Christianity, the hard facts of Christian life, is the discovery that sooner or later, receiving Jesus Christ into your life as the Lord and Savior does not instantly lead to wholeness or complete deliverance. No, it is a stepping stone to greater things in your life. We must now begin to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. It's now becoming so serious now. Now education has failed. It has only produced clever devils. Character disorder is a major problem. Family life is practically dead. Abortion has climbed to the highest level. The music world has been taken over by devils. Children still die of hunger while some nations are throwing away food. And it's so difficult to find the truth these days. It is becoming a terrible world, a mad world. And women and children are at the receiving end of this madness. Plenty of life is full of strain and stress. So meaning that there are more mad people than normal people in our world. But the worst insanity cases are the ones declared by scripture. Bow down your heads where you are now. And all eyes closed. In case you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to give you maximum assistance before we go into our 70 days prayer program. Come to the altar here and surrender your life to Jesus. The pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to be free from all these devilish houses of the world. Just leave that seat and find a way quickly to the altar here. God bless you as you do so.
Savior make no delay. Here in His Word He has shown us the way. Here in the midst He is standing today. Tenderly saying, Come, joyful, joyful will the meeting be when from sin our hearts are pure and free. Shall God a Savior with thee in our eternal home? So for the children who hear His voice, let every heart leap toward and rejoice, and let us freely make Him a choice. Do not delay. Once again he is with us today, he now is blessed, command and obey, he now is our sense and all the same, will you my children come? Joyful, joyful will the midst be, when from sin our hearts are pure and free, and we shall call a Savior with thee. In our eternal home, seen as Jesus will receive some this world of grace to all, who the heavenly path will leave, all who linger, all who fall. Sing it all, sing it all again, and all again. sing it all again. Christ receive a sinful man, Christ receive a sinful man. So, Fred, the altar, I congratulate you. Just bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for this, your children. I have surrendered their lives to Jesus today. Father, keep them standing by your power. Continue to lay your hands upon them. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. You have taken the most important decision in life. Just follow this, this pastor here for a few minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Send down revival, Lord. Let it start with thee, my soul. Holy Ghost revival. Pentecost. Send down revival. Send down revival, Lord. Let it start with thee, my soul. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost revival. Send down revival. Send down revival, Lord. Let it start within my soul. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost revival. Let it fire. Right there where you are. Bow down your heads. Talk to the Lord yourself. Anything in my life that will be regarded as insanity in heaven that will not allow me to be a delight of heaven no matter how I love it Father, take it away from my life talk to the Lord now thank you Jesus
bring, 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 bring hands to the Lord. On spirits of anger, impatience, not listening to God, talk to the Lord yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting now. Bring it out now. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, praise them falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands of fire and power upon your children here. In Jesus' name we pray. The boxes are before you. The POS is available. Or you can use our data on the screen. While we sing from page 9 in our hymn book. Our 70 days hymn book. So just of Christ arise and put your armor on. Strong in the strength which God supplies. Through his eternal son. Strong in the Lord of hosts. And in his mighty power. Who in the strength of Jesus trusts is more than conquer. to the end be thou forever near me my master and my friend I shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side nor wander from the pathway if thou would be my guide
Session are we in now? Read your memory verse. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me very well. There is a revelation. I had a revelation. And it's very strange. And that will initiate our anger and rage at prayers here today. And we have to continue praying those prayers. It's like some spirits. They had a bowl in their hands. Inside the bowl was a strange liquid. And there was the world map, that globe of the world. And they stood on top of that globe of the earth. They were pouring down this liquid. Point that is liquid. And as the liquid went around, the plenty of confusion. The man began to ask questions. What's this? The Lord said, There is a current rage of angry spirits that have been poured out undiluted to invade nations and families. Beloved, there is an invasion going on. And I said, what are these spirits that are sent to the world to now start to invade? Are they, were, they not, were they not there before? The Lord said they have redoubled their energy. No wonder the Bible says, Why do the nation so fruitlessly rage together? Number one, the Lord said, Those things you are saying, that liquid, it's not liquid, they're spirits. Say, number one, there is an invasion of strange drinkers of blood. That you are going to see a lot of human lives being wasted without any conscience. 
is already happening. Number two, say, children swallow us. You are going to see plenty of children with destiny being swallowed. Number three, say so you are going to see plenty of arrows of insanity moving all over the place. Number four, say so this, there are spirits of marriage destruction that have been released against marriages and homes. Number five is the ritualist and their occultism. And number six is what they call the vulture spirit. That those who feed on the dead. They make their money when people die. Number seven, there's going to be plenty of blood money spirits around. Number eight is the drug addiction spirits. The no wonder the rehabilitation centers, the psychiatric hospitals are filled to the brim with people whose brains have been turned upside down by drugs. Demonize sexual confusion. And that these spirits now will begin to make human beings, number 10, to provoke elemental warfare against man. The elements will begin to fight human beings. Because they are making human beings to provoke heaven to anger. Therefore, they have no power to control the elements, but they can provoke Every stronger to make the elements fight. And as now, so you need to rage the way they are raging is the way you should rage in prayers. And raging in prayer is not gentleman's prayer at all. This ten spirits have been poured out undiluted upon this world. Close your eyes, beloved. They say if you are in a war situation, try and defend your nation. If you fail to defend your nation, Try and defend your city. You cannot defend your city. Try and defend your family. You cannot defend your family. Try and defend yourself. We are going to take up this warfare in all the departments. I want you to pray like a warrior. When you face an angry demon, you pray angry prayers. You face a raging enemy, you too confront them with raging prayers. That's sometimes why we encourage machine gun praying in church. That to keep the bombardment on until the enemy bows, surrenders, or dies. Can you close your eyes now? With the voice of the warrior, a voice that knows no compromise, can you shout this loud and clear? Wickedness of the wicked. In Jesus' name we pray. Surprise! 
raging against my life. You are alive. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. Raging against my life, you are alive. In Jesus' name, we pray. With a voice louder than anyone around you. Say, drinkers of blood. Eaters of flesh. I am not your candidate. Destroy yourselves. In the name of Jesus. 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 Aha. 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 Jesus name we pray I want you to rage more anger particularly in this next three prayers I want you to pray wherever my joy is tied down can you say it with only anger I want you to be more angry than that. <laughs> Holy Ghost Fire! Release them! In the name of Jesus! Makate sete la kaya bo shende rabo santa ribosapali kaya bo shente Jesus name we pray say my glory shout it again get out of the room of battle can you shout that loud my glory get out of the room of in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are not here to negotiate. In 
Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Battles. Assigned to make my enemies rejoice over me. Can I hear the sister shouting this? I want the sisters to be more aggressive. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Everybody shouting it loud. Dad! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. name we pray every rage of the enemy backfire in the name of Jesus yes name we pray. This is wonderful. I'm making fantastic progress. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting, when you wake up, you find scratches on your body. Please find a way to the altar. Be on your knees. To deal with these invisible powers coming to scratch your body. Everybody will shout this loud. Those of you at the altar, let your voice be the loudest. Say, Blood of Jesus. Can you shout the blood of Jesus? them that are summoning me for evil. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Answer them, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Power. Sir. All the wicked meetings against me. Destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 
Makate seteni kaya bo shendera bo santia. Ribo sopole kaya bo shendera bo kusotonda yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. As I make this prophetic pronouncement, you need a sevenfold giant volcanic amen to possess them. Father, anything in any life that witchcraft powers have turned upside down. Be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every power issuing curses against your life day and night. I command them to be swallowed in the name of Jesus. I decree that every arrangement organized by the enemy, every arrangement organized by the enemy, to frustrate your progress is buried now in the name of Jesus. Wherever your promotion is being tied down, wherever your progress is being tied down, wherever. Your children are being tied down. Wherever your prosperity is being tied down, repossess them in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are here now, and invisible forces are pursuing your life. The enemy wants to disgrace you everywhere you go. The enemy is making strange orders to arrive from your body to give you bad luck. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. sickness unto death in the body of anyone here die in the name of Jesus stretch your right hand towards this altar now father let your fire and your power envelope these hands let this arm become the arms of healing, deliverance, and power. Use this arm to break every stubborn yoke. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you brought any infirmity here, smite that place 21 times. Shouting, go back to your senders. Do it aggressively whether the place is paining you or not. Let's go! Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Begin to check your body now. 
begin to do what you could not do before you got here. You the spirit of paralysis. Lose your hold now in the name of Jesus. Any power removing strength from your legs. Removing strength from your limbs. I command you. Arise and be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Every satanic arrow fired into the head, fired into the lungs, fired into the breast, fired into the chest. Go back to your senders now in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. senders. In the name of Jesus. Now put your faith into operation now. Check that pain. Check the swollen place. Check that leg. Check that backbone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And if you know that the Lord has touched you, don't let the devil put it back on you. Don't let the devil convince you that wait and wait and wait. Maybe it has not gone. Once you check your body, you find that you are okay. Run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back on you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, organization of the wicked. Shout in my name. Can you say it loud? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this strange prayer louder than anyone around you. Satanic notice board. In my father's house. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say the notice brother blaze by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Say witchcraft can you shout this loud you are alive in the name of Jesus
Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now, put in anything you want to put into this prayer. If you say career, fine. Business, fine. Marriage, fine. Put in what the Holy Spirit is putting in your heart. In this prayer. Can you say this loud and clear? Every embargo on my career break in the name of Jesus. Them we pray a louder amen, a louder amen.